friends, it's me again, Sophia J. If you're new or if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. Today, we're going to be learning how to solve area and volume word problems by using the relationship between the two. Let's get into it. Let's review some vocabulary. Area is measured in units squared. The formula for area is length times width. Volume is measured in units cubed. The formula for volume is length times width times height. Remember, length is how long something is, width is how wide or thick something is, and height is how high or tall something is. A rectangular prism has a length of 5 feet, a width of 3 feet, and a height of 2 feet. What is the volume of the rectangular prism? First, let's highlight. We know that the length is 5 feet, the width is 3 feet, and the height is 2 feet. We also know that we're trying to find the volume. So let's draw this re rectangular prism. So, by filling in the information, we know that the length is 5 feet, the width is 3 feet, and the height is 2 feet. We know that the formula for volume is length times width times height. And by filling in the information, we know that volume equals 5 times 3 times 2. Volume equals 15 times 2, meaning that volume equals 30 feet cubed, or 30 cubic feet. A cube has a base area of 25 square inches and a height of 5 inches. What is the volume of the cube? So, right off the bat, we know that the base area is 25 square inches and the height is 5 inches. Again, we are looking for the volume. So, we know that area equals length times width. And we know that the area, the base area, is 25 already. We do also know that volume equals length times width times height. And area is already length times width. So volume equals 25, the area, times the height. But we already know that the height is 5. So volume equals 25 times 5, meaning that volume equals 125 inches squared, or cubic inches. Okay, mathematicians, we got to pay special attention to the wording of this word problem. A rectangular prism has a volume of 360 inches cubed. Hmm. The base has an area of 18 squared inches. What is the height of the rectangular prism? So this time, we are already given the volume, which is 360 inches cubed. And we know the base, which is 18 squared inches. This time, we're looking for the height. So, we know that volume equals length times width times height. But we know that length times width is the area. And since the base, or the area, is already given to us, we know that the area is 18. And we also know the volume, which is 360. So 18 times something, the height, which we don't know, 
equals 360. So, to find out the height, we're going to have to use the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. We're going to have to do 360 divided by 18. 18 goes into 36 two times, which is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. Bring down the 0. 18 goes into 0, 0 times. 0 minus 0 is 0. Put the 0. Meaning that the height is 20 inches. Because this is only a one-dimensional measure, we don't have to put inches squared or inches cubed because it's neither of those. What did we learn today? We learned that area is the amount of squared units inside a figure, and you can find the area by multiplying length times width. Volume is the number of cubic units inside a figure, and you can find volume by multiplying length times width times height. Since area is length times width, and volume is length times width times height, we can find volume or the height when given the area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!